Yes, Mirinda. Vivek. Sana. Did you see the mirror today? <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> Silence, everyone. Hmm. What? Only face. Yes, you did not see the Only face. Okay. What did you find in that? Hmm? Hairstyle? Oh. They are not getting my question properly. <coughs> Mystery. Did you see the mirror today? What did you find in that? <laughs> no comments in me. <laughs> What did you find in that? Yourself. What kind of image did you see? Yes, no, no more discussions now. Yes, silence. What do you mean by virtual image? What do you mean by virtual image? Okay, anyone who else who can answer this to me? What kind of image do you see in the mirror? Inverted means you see in front and your back is visible. <laughs> what do you mean by Correct. Right becomes left and left becomes right. If, suppose, if suppose on Shiva Mitzvah and He-Man. Can you read the same in the middle? No. You will not be able to read the same words exactly because the right becomes left, left becomes. Right. Now, all of you have heard about passbook. Yes. What is passbook? Passbook is the mirror of cash book. Passbook is the mirror of cash book means whatever comes in cash book on the left side in passbook it comes on the right side and whatever comes in cash book on right side in passbook it comes on the right side now why understand that suppose i am talking about cash book complete silence now no one should be talking but i am talking only about bank column of cash book Okay, I am talking only about the bank column of cash book. Do you get the point everyone? Yes, we are ended. Suppose we are talking only about the cash book bank column. Now, in cash book, debit side is the receipt side. And credit side is the payment side. I am not making the other columns in detail. A date, receipts, then receipt number, tenant number, and we are talking only about the bank or no cash and discount. Same way, date, payments, voucher number, cash, bank, discount. Okay, three columns. Now, passbook. Why is it the mirror of cash? So, what is passbook? Mirror of cash. Now, go back to the exams. <laughs> Otherwise, you get zero marks and they'll say, go and see what you are What is passbook? It is a copy of customer or trader's account given by the bank to the trader. It is a copy of the customer's account given by the bank to the trader. So, like we maintain bank account. So, if we have an account with HDFC Bank, let us say we are talking about the trader Vivek. If Vivek has account in HDFC Bank, then Vivek will maintain in his ledger books account of HDFC Bank. And HDFC Bank will also maintain the ledger account of Vivek. They maintain the ledger account of all the customers. And copy of the account they give to the customer, which is called as passbook. So, cash book is prepared by who? Cash book is prepared by trader. Cash book is prepared by the 
trader. And so everything we see from whose point of view? Trader. Trader's point of view. Okay. And passbook is prepared by whom? No. Bank. Passbook is prepared by the bank. And everything bank sees from bank point of view. Okay. And basically what is this passbook? If we are talking about the trader Vivek. Then this passbook is nothing but Vivek's account with the bank. Okay, passbook is nothing but the Vivek's account with the bank. A copy of that account is given to Vivek which is called as passbook. Now suppose Vivek deposits 10,000 rupees in the bank. Vivek deposits 10,000 rupees in the bank. What journal entry will be passed by Vivek? Bank is the receiver, debit the receiver, bank account debit 10,000, cash goes out, credit what goes out to cash account 10,000. Means, right now we are talking only about, so in bank column it will come on debit side 10,000 and opposite account to cash account 10,000. Any doubts of this? So where does the entry come in cash book bank column on which side? This side means which side? Debit side. Now as I said, what is passbook? Vivek's ledger account. Okay, it is a copy of Vivek's account which is given to the trader Vivek himself. What journal entry will bank pass if Vivek deposits 10,000 in the bank? Now see from bank point of view. Bank is receiving the money from Vivek. So cash comes in, debit what comes in, cash account, debit 10,000. And from bank's point of view, Vivek is the giver. Credit the giver to Vivek account, 10,000. So where should we write it or where should bank write in Vivek's ledger account? Credit side. To Vivek account means where should bank write in Vivek's ledger account? And it will be passbook is nothing but Vivek's account. Forget Meera. Meera. Who wants to see so much of Meera? It was just a concept to explain you that everything in cash book of left will come on the right side and cash book right side will come on the left. Now understand the actual concept. Okay. Passbook is not the mirror. Okay? Passbook is a copy of trader's account given to the trader. Okay? Passbook is a copy of trader's account given to the So basically passbook is nothing but from bank's point of view it is Vivek's account. Where should this come in? Vivek's account? Credit side. By cash account. That is 10,000. Did you understand this? So now can you see in cash book what comes on? Debit side in bank column in passbook it comes on? Debit side. Same way whatever comes in cash book on credit side will come in passbook on? Debit side. That's why I said that passbook is the mirror of cash book. So do remember the concept you can remember it but don't write it in exams. Just as a concept remember that passbook is the mirror of cash book. Whatever is debited in cash books bank column is credited in passbook. Whatever is credited in cash books bank column is debited in passbook. They both are, in both the books the things are recorded on opposite sides. Any confusions with this? All are clear up to here? Now tell me one thing. Should I erase this? This concept is clear why passbook is called the winner of cash book. Okay. But otherwise what is the definition of passbook? Copy of trader's account with the bank. Okay. Bank maintains the ledger account of all the customers and a copy of that account they give to the customer itself. And that copy is called as passbook. Any confusions? Now tell me one thing. Everything what comes in cash book debit side in bank column will come in passbook on credit side. Everything, what will come in cash book credit side in bank column, will come in passbook on So should the closing balance of cash book 
be same as the closing balance of passport or not. They come on opposite side, but I'm talking about the amount. Should the closing balance of cash book in amount, in terms of amount, be same as the closing balance of passbook or not? Yes, definitely they'll come on opposite side. Here if you have bank balance of 20,000 on credit side, here it will come on debit side, opposite side. But amount will it be same or not? Yes or no? Yes. I cannot hear yes or no? Yes. No. <laughs> it should be same. But it is generally maximum times not same. Understand the reason. Understand the reason why it is not same. And taking few transactions randomly on debit and credit side. Let us say that we have received in addition to this 10,000 deposited in the bank. We have received a check from Soba. <laughs> B or double B. Of rupees 5,000. Then from Sakshi we have received 8,000. Yes, silence. Let us say we have paid to Shubha 3,000. And, and we have paid to Varma 4000. That is my Varma, we have 4000. Now, we are in everything what comes in cash book on debit side, in passbook it should come on credit side. So, where should I write Subba in passbook? Credit side. Where should I write Sakshi in passbook? Credit side. Silence. Where should I write Shubham in passbook? And where should I write Verma in passbook? Now, if you find the closing balance, then 10 plus 5, 15 plus 8, 23,000. 23 minus 7, 16,000. By balance, carry it down. And if you find here also, then 10 plus 5, 15 plus 8, 23,000 and 23,000 minus 3 and 4, 7, 16,000. Two balance, carry it down. Should it come same or not? The only difference, this is a debit balance. Is it a debit balance or a credit balance? Yeah. Debit balance. Because debit side is more than credit side. And this is a credit balance. But amount is same or not? Yes. Now why the amounts are not same understand this? Because, because suppose I am talking that all these transactions have taken place in the month of January. We deposited cash in the bank on 10th January 2018 and in passbook also it comes on 10th January 2018. We received check from Subha on 20th January 2018. Now tell me in passbook will it come on 20th January? We received check from Subha on 20th January. Will it come in passbook on 20th? No. Impossible, never. Even if I receive it on 20th morning, 9 o'clock and 9, 5, I go and deposit in the bank. It will not, not come on 20th in my passport, it will come on 21st, earliest to earliest. Because if you deposit the check today with the bank, bank sends it to the clearing house. Clearing house will, will collect it from the other bank whose check has been issued and then they deposit the money in my account. So minimum to minimum, there is how much gap? 
That too, if I deposit on the same day. And he has given me the check on 20th, so in cash book, I made, I made the entry. But then, I myself am lazy. I did not deposit on 20th. I deposited on 25th, then 26th, national holiday. Suppose 27th is Sunday. Then the IIT money will come on. So sometimes there can be a gap of 15 days also. Depending upon when do you really deposit the bank. Check with the bank. You understand it? So let us say this one I deposited immediately. So earliest to earliest it comes in passbook on which date? 21st January 2018. Now Sakshi gave me the check on 25th. 26th. Okay. 27th. 28th my anniversary. <laughs> It is really my university. So 20th January, I did not deposit in the bank. Out of station. Out of, I had to ask money. 20th January, I did not deposit the bank. The check in the bank. I came back on 1st February, deposited the check on 2nd February, and it got cleared on 3rd February. So this entry comes in passbook on 3rd February 2018. Did you understand this? Same way, let us say we gave the check to Shubham on 14th January directly on the terrace. <laughs> then he deposited the check in the bank. On 16th, 14th and 15th, he was a terrace only. So he deposited the check in the bank on 16th. And then it got cleared on 17th January 2008. Okay. And let us say that we gave the check to Verma on 31st January. She deposited immediately, but still it will come on 1st February. Now, this 16,000 is the closing balance of which month? January. If you find passbooks, closing balance of January, then you'll find 10 plus 5, 15,000 minus 3,000, 12,000. 31st January in passbook it will show the closing balance of 12,000. Does it match with the cash book? And what are the two reasons it does not match? Sakshi and what? <laughs> because Sakshi is there in the cash book. Sakshi is sitting in the cash book on debit side on 25th January. Okay? But then she shifted to passbook in February. And Verma is sitting on the credit side on 31st January. But in passbook it has come on 1st. So January's closing balance will not match. Without any fault of the trader and without any fault of the both are correct at their place. But suppose the owner of the business does not know accounts. <laughs> owner of the business does not know accounts. That's why he has hired an accountant. Let us say Shivam is my accountant. <laughs> and he shows me the cash book. He maintains the cash book. Okay? So, suppose the owner does not know anything about accounts. And it's quite possible many times it happens. Businessman does not necessarily, he should know how to do the business. He must not necessarily know how to do the accounts or make the accounts. He does not know accounts, therefore he, therefore he has hired an accountant. Shivam is maintaining the accounts of the business. He is maintaining cash book everything. Now as an owner, suppose I don't know accounts. And I call Shivam that, how much is my bank balance? Then Shivam will look at the cash book and tell me that the bank balance is $16. Then I go and update my passbook and come. And in passbook I see, the very first time cash hold of his years. Why? Well, you are saying you need 16,000 and bank is saying it's 12,000 and cash hold of his years. What did you do? What did you do with the remaining 4,000? Will the owner have this question or not? Yes. That Accountant is saying that we must have 16,000 in our bank. 
<laughs> and bank is saying that there is only 12,000. So owner does not know account. He will catch all of the years of his account. And what did you do with the remaining 4,000? So what he will do, he will make a statement of the reasons. That why in passbook it is showing 12,000 because he will make a statement. That check which is received from Sachi. It is recorded in cash book on 25th January, but it is credited by the bank. It is collected by the bank on 3rd of February. And he will write one more reason in that. That we have issued the check to Burma, which is credited in cash book on 31st January. But from passbook, it is debited and presented for payment on 1st February. And that are the two reasons why there is a difference of 4,000. He will give me the statement with those two reasons. Do you understand that? That statement is called bank reconciliation statement. That is our chapter. Get this heading in your so, did you understand what is bank reconciliation statement, everyone? Okay. What is bank reconciliation statement? It is a statement, it is a statement. showing the reasons of differences, showing the reasons of differences between the closing balance of cash book and passbook. Between the closing balance of cash book and passbook. Okay, once again, what is bank reconciliation statement? It is a statement showing the reasons of differences between the closing balance of cash book and passbook. Okay, it shows and explains us why cash book's balance is different from passbook. And it also that write the meaning on your own. Anyone who did not understand what is this we are going to study in this chapter? Okay, check it up. What you have written? Bank reconciliation statement is a statement showing reasons of differences. Bank reconciliation statement is a statement showing reasons of differences between the closing balance of cash book and passbook. Okay, between the closing balance of cash book and passbook. All of you have understood this? Okay. Now, before we take up with that, we need to understand a few more terms. So, give the heading meaning of passbook. Give the heading meaning of passbook. <clears throat> yes, raise your hand. What is the meaning of passbook? Don't tell me mirror of cash book. Shriya. Okay, no meaning of that. Yes, raise your hand. What is the meaning of passbook? I already discussed with you. Shriya. It is a copy of data that given to the data by bank. Very good. Correct. It is a copy of. It is a copy of traders account. Given by the bank, it is a copy of trader's account given by the bank to the trader. Did you understand this? Now, listen carefully everyone. First I'll explain the concepts and I'll give you some shortcuts also, so be ready. Very first of all, there are two terms, bank balance and bank overdraft. 
Okay, there are two types of bank balances. One is bank balance and the other is bank order. Bank balance is a positive balance. And bank overdraft is a negative balance. Okay, reason. Reason, bank balance means receipts are more than payments and bank overdraft means payments are more than receipts. Of course, for bank overdraft, you will make that arrangement with the bank. If in your bank you have 10,000, you cannot give check of 12,000, you will get dishonored, bounced, reverse bank, return bank. But if you have made prior arrangement with the bank, then again, 10,000 bank will make a payment of 12,000 and 2,000 will become overdraft. Did you understand that? So, <clears throat> bank balance means receipts are more than payments. Tell me 16,000. Is it bank balance or bank overdraft? 16,000. Bank balance. Receipts 23,000. Payments 7,000. Receipts are more than payments. If credit side total is more than whatever balance comes here is called bank overdraft. So bank balance is having which balance? Debit balance or credit balance? Yeah. Debit balance because debit side is more than? Yeah. But in passbook the same is having credit balance because here credit side is more than debit side. So how will you remember the things is <coughs> cash book, passbook. And four things you have to remember here. First is bank balance. Okay, first is bank balance. And bank balance means receipts are more than payments. In cash book, receipts are more than payments means debit is more than credit. So it is which balance? And in passbook, Receipts are more than payments means credit is more than debit because passbook is the mirror of cash book. Everything comes on opposite side. So here the same will have which balance? And if we talk about bank overdraft, then in cash book payments are more than receipts means credit is more than debit. So it will have and in passbook payments are more than receipts means debit is more than Credit, so it will have and then receipts in cash book we write down in passbook and then payments in cash book we write down credit side in passbook we write on debits. Did everyone of you understand this? This working table will help us a lot when we solve the questions and Two more steps I'll make you write as a shortcut later on when we come to those kind of questions. Okay. Uh, he has gone to Amit Complex for the test. Okay, Amit Complex. Now, so did you understand this? Now, see, there will be two types of questions with us. One, you will be given the cash book and passbook. We will compare the two and find out what are the reasons of differences. Means what are the things which are there in cash book but not there in? Same way there will be some things which will be there in passbook but not there in cash book. Like here in January, Sakshi is there in cash book but not in passbook. In January it is not there. Same way in January Verma is there in cash book but not in same way there will be certain things which will be there in passport but not in cash book. And those we have to, cash book and passport will be given, we have to compare them and find out which things are there in cash book but not in or which things are there in passport but not in cash book. And then we have to make this statement, bank reconciliation statement. Second type of questions where cash book, passport will not be given, reasons will be directly given. Which things are there in cash book but not in passbook? Which things are there in passbook but not in 
We directly from those reasons have to make that consideration. Which ones would be easier? Uh, second one sounds easier, but first one will be easier. So first type of questions we will start tomorrow. Okay, where cash book and passbook will be given to you, we'll compare them and find out what are the reasons of. Did you get the point, everyone? So first you write this working table. <coughs> This one, cash book, passbook, bank balance, debit, credit, bank order, credit, debit, receipts, debit, credit, and payments, credit, debit. This table we will be making in all of our solutions when the second type of questions come. Here also we will be making summary along with the chapter when we are solving the questions. And that sum summary will be of such a kind that before your exam, if you revise the summary, whole chapter will be covered in that. You need not even solve a single question. Just revise the summary properly. Yes? Yeah, in this chapter also we will be making a summary. When we solve the question simultaneously, we will keep on writing in that summary. And summary will be such that during your exams, just go through summary and you will be able to solve any question. Did you all write that table? So, there are two types of questions. Okay, first one, where you will be given with cash book and pass book. We have to compare and find the reasons of differences. That we will be starting tomorrow. And second will be those ones where reasons of difference will be directly given. We directly have to make that reconciliation. That will solve.